Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is my Dwarf Fortress video tutorial part 3. In this uh, episode I'll talk about looking around the Dwarf Fortress world and make, trying to make sense of it. Uh, so uh, if you have a little bit of experience with this game you might want to skip this episode. Anyway, uh, going on with the show, uh, let's look around a bit. The game works like this. There's three screens you start, normally start off with. This is the local map where everything happens. This is the command list of things you can do. More on, I'll go in depth on it later. And this is the area map of uh, the whole area we're in. As you can see there's a big area over here. This blue stuff is open space. There's nothing over there. Uh, so basically there's a big plateau over here. and If you kind of look around like this you can actually see it. You can also get away with this screen for a moment so we can actually look around a bit better. Do that by pressing tab. Uh, a couple of times, like four or five times, and hey, there's a nice big screen, and here you map to the right. Uh, so as you might have guessed, the arrow keys move around. You can also use the memory keypad keys. Uh, those will also go diagonal, like this is 7, 8, 9, 6, 3, 2, 1, 4. And yeah, you make a little circle like that. And yeah, you can use diagonal, but I prefer just to use the arrow keys. Works easy enough. Uh, also, if you hold shift, you can go faster. So that's very nice to know. It's a really important uh, thing to have. And uh, if you press K, you can actually look around at some stuff. Back, bring back the command menu, but let's use it to look at stuff. So here's a cat, you can see over here it's a grey cat, standing on grass. Here's my miner. There's a stray cat standing on a wagon. This brown thing over here is the wagon. Uh, it's uh, one of my dwarves, which I named. More on that later. Um, yeah, also this. This little furry effect you see is when some things are uh, on the same tile. On this tile, there's two things. A muskox and a one-armed camel. Uh, this is probably muskox. And this is the one-armed camel. Uh, the, yeah, the game does a twirly thing when there's yeah, multiple uh, things on one tile, so you know when you can see what's on the tile. Um, let's look around a bit more. As you can see, there's all these green arrows over here. These are slopes. Basically, the, the game goes up or down in those places. Um, because, yeah, you can go up and down too. Let's go out of the space menu and let's look around again. And let's try going up levels and down levels. As you can see on the right side there's a number over here. Uh, this is the relative level you are on. We're starting here at 146. We can go down one level by pressing uh, the angle bracket right or shift dot. And we'll go down, you'll see the, the bottom of this level. And we're at level 145 now. And it looks like one of my dwarves already walked there. Um, so you couldn't see it from above. Here's the dwarf. And we go one level up again. You don't see it. Uh, same with these things. The blue space is open space. Nothing beneath that tile. This green dotted area is where there's something beneath this tile. There's a little bar. If you look at it like this, it says open space. Well, here it does. Uh, but if you go down a level, it's actually a tree. So yeah, you can, uh, from one level, you can see the one, the exact level you were on, and the level below it, if you can uh, actually view that. Like you can't, uh, uh, you're in the middle of the mountain here, if you go down one level, there's just more mountain you can't see in there, because your dwarves can't see in there. Um, well that's your chart making a bit of sense, let's move a bit, a bit more with the levels. Go down a level, go down another level, level and right at the bottom of the valley with the river here. We go down another level. It's just ground. The dwarfs can't see here so you can't either. We go down more, even the river disappears and there's just all nothing of things of grey and it's boring and nothing happens. So go back up the ground. Uh, let's follow this river for some fun. Uh, yeah also the river here the, the sevens are darker. This is the water in the game. Uh, you see it's seven because the, the tile below this has seven tiles of water. 
as you can see, or a 7 of 7. Uh, any tile can have 7 uh, digits of water in it. And also some, some other stuff in the, in the river over here. Some fish and gar and uh, a lamprey and a pike and a carp. Oh fuck. Carps are one of the most dangerous fish known to all dwarf kind. Uh, dwarf carps have been known to kill dragons. And that's not a joke. <laughs> it's. Yeah, they're really, really powerful in this game, and there's a lot of. carps. Yep, I'm fucked. Well, I'll manage some to. Oh, what the hell's this? Something happened over here. There's some red numbers over here. There's blood. Oh my god. Something died over here and left blood. Something. Awful, maybe the fish attacked each other or something. I don't know, maybe one jumped off the wall or something. Or maybe that's one of my dwarves, I hope not. More on that later. Uh, first, I should show you another important tool. I actually found some stuff here, like limonite in the walls. But you might be thinking, what the hell is limonite? I don't know either. Uh, the best way you find out anything about this game is to look it up in the Dwarf Fortress Wiki. So, I highly prefer to be at the Dwarf Fortress Wiki page, dwarffortresswiki.net. Uh, just go there, and if there's anything in the game you don't understand, just type it in the search bar and you can find it. Like here, Limonite. What the hell is it? Limonite is a or it can be used iron bars. Great. Identical to magnetite and hematite. So it's an iron ore. Well, it's great to have. Iron weapons will be very handy later. Um, let's go back to our dwarves. Also, by the way, here is a waterfall. There's some mist over here. Uh, yeah, the water just stops over here. You go up. You see the water goes on here. So the water comes from here, drops down, creates mist, all the way to here. Uh, I'm not happy about my dwarves. Let's look at my, how my dwarves are doing. I'm pressing U for the unit list. And here is a list of all the dwarves I have at the moment. As you can see, I've named some of them after video game characters. Uh, it's easy to do, it's handy to name your dwarves. If you don't name your dwarves, uh, it'll be hard to tell them apart from new migrants, new dwarves come later. So I'm giving them all names. You can do this, uh, first of all, you can zoom to the dwarf with that hand by pressing C when you select the dwarf. I can zoom down, select C, and here, he's over here. If I go back and space to go back, U to go back here, I can also look at the settings of this dwarf. And if I press enter, I get a whole lot of information about the dwarf. More on this later. Press space to go back. Pressing Y to customize and and to customize his nickname. So can't have video games without Nick characters without Mario. Press N, just type Mario. And hey, my dwarf is a name. This other guy. Pressing V A I N and name him Sonic. Enter and you're done. I have a whole list of, of the dwarves which are named. You don't need to name your dwarves, but it'll be handy later. Um, it will give you some little bond with them and make you tell them apart. Uh, name them after everything, your family, musicians, movie stars, whatever. People at your school, people at IRC, people at um, anywhere. Um, this will be my dwarves. Let's, what's Gordon Freeman doing at the moment? Nothing, without a job. Because I haven't given any, any orgy yet. Um, the orders will come in the next video. Uh, this has been the looking around video for now. I hope you uh, enjoyed it and uh, can make a little sense of the Dwarf Fortress world right now. And remember, if you don't know anything that's happening and going on, if you uh, have confusion, just look at the wiki. DwarfFortressWiki.net It'll tell you all about the items you can see in the game. Uh, look at Club Garp, like that. You can see what carps can do. Um, so I'm running out of time now, so that's it for this episode. Next episode, we'll actually start building stuff. So uh, that's it for now, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.